Greetings from Farmer Bill, the funds are at Mays Valley Farm Market and Winery. Well, we're looking here at June 26th, 2009, and this is the original field that I think if you look back at my original blog posting, I show my father-in-law Kay plowing in some still photographs. That was before I was smart enough to use a video camera. I'm not saying I am today, but it's before I could use it at all. Um, this field is our first planted sweet corn field and it just began tasseling here this week. It shoots out a tassel here. You see that's the part of the top. And that has, see if I shake that, you can see the pollen. You can see the pollen floating through the air as I do that. But you see the pollen go shaking off and that's what happens when the wind comes along and it blows the pollen along. i shake that one there. Oh, there's a bunch of red, or red, yeah, yellow pollen giving off. But that pollen goes and drifts through the air and what it does is it goes across the field and it floats down and it'll land on the silks down here on the tip of the ear because the ear has just emerged out of here and it's very young, very small, nothing much going on there yet. How long are we talking before we can eat? About three weeks, there, give or take. We'll see, this is a high ground planted sweet corn field. It's not real impressive looking. Often our first sweet corn patches uh, tend to look like this till we get into the big heated days of summer. This corn came through a lot of cool nights and uh, and actually, you know, it, it actually came through the frost there too. We had that freeze in the frost. It was up through then and it came, but it's, it's coming along. That's why we plant it on the higher ground, the sandier soil, because it's less susceptible to frost. So it's coming along, so this field will be about three weeks. But what happens is when that pollen sheds, or sh in the case where I shook it, off the tassel on top, it floats across the field and some of it will land down on the silks. Lands down on the silks, we get the reproductive part going there, it pollinates, and the message goes back to the ear, and that's what makes a kernel, and that's what you eat. That's where the energy is, that's where the food value is in for us. That's where the fun part is if you like to eat sweet corn. So sometimes if you're eating sweet corn and you see a miss or a blank there and you don't have it all filled out, the kernel isn't on the cob, something happened that interrupted this process. Either the silk didn't form all the way or in that case it didn't get pollinated, but it's pretty rare. I mean, you're talking all this little stuff goes shaking through the air. And if you have allergies, that probably just makes you cringe. So once again, this is Bill back in the fun czar out in our first sweet corn patch. And I'll go and follow up on the other one where we had the video of my father-in-law Kay planting. Mays Valley Farm Market and Winery saying thank you for stopping by.